We're here today at the Autosport International Show on behalf of FBC Mambi Bowdler, proud sponsors of the Bloodhound car. We've got something a little bit special lined up. We've got an interview with Richard Noble. Richard, uh, what is your inspiration for this whole adventure? Well, it goes back a long, long way. Um, basically, when I was a kid of five, um, I saw John Cobb going for the water speed record, and I just thought, my word, this is really exciting. And uh, it's a disease, of course, and uh, once you've got the disease, it goes on forever. So we've done uh, the land speed record, we've broken the sound barrier, and now we're breaking the thousand. I mean, it's very exciting. I was at Newquay at the, uh, the end of last year okay. um, and the, the trials of 200 miles an hour. What did you learn from them trials? We learnt that we got a fantastic team and a fantastic car. And of course, the public support was just absolutely amazing. I mean, 9,500 people paid to come. And on the education day, we had 3,600 kids turn up. I've never seen anything like it. It was, uh, it was just absolutely amazing. It was hugely inspiring. Oh, it was phenomenal. It was a great day, an inspirational day. Um, uh, incrementally now, what's the next speed increment that the car will be achieving? Well, we've got, a, we've got a big challenge this year, which is to get to South Africa. We need to get to South Africa probably about um, September. That's the grand plan. There's a big uh, meeting in South Africa tomorrow, so we'll find out what they, what, what they want. But um, yeah, and then what we've got to do is we've got to do the medium speed runs. So that's over 500 miles an hour. So uh, because, of course, we haven't yet run on this desert. And uh, so we've got a challenge. We've got to get over that particular challenge. We've got to be sure in our own mind that we've got our, um, our medium speed runs are safe and the car is safe and sort out all the development. Uh, we'll take it as fast as we can on the jet engine alone. And then we go back to Britain. Uh, we then fit the rocket motor and uh, then we come back in 2019 and that should get us a new world record. Fantastic. We, we can't wait. That's the start. And then back again in 2020 uh, to get to our thousand. And the technology in the car, you've, you've merged technologies from all different sectors. It's, 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 it's effectively, it's not a car, it's a jet, it's a car, you know, Formula One industry, military industry. Well, you're absolutely right. Yes, I mean it's uh, you know it's it's basically half a jet fighter, half a half a race car, and uh, and of course the ultimate. Well, it's really half a spaceship, I suppose, really, because of course we've got all the the rocket technology as well. Now, this, it's a huge undertaking. It's a massive undertaking. It's phenomenal, really. I mean, just to keep this on the ground is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, how how is this achieved? And is the techno are the technologies going to evolve further before we get to that thousand miles an hour? Are there are we going to see any more changes to the car? Oh, yes, you will. Of course you will. Uh, basically, we've only done 200 miles an hour. We've learned a lot from that. There are no major changes after that. But basically, now we're into the 500s. And once we're past that, uh, obviously, you'll probably start to see all sorts of changes. You'll see a lot of changes after we've done 800. Because at that point, we're then into a supersonic airflow. And we've got to be sure that it, it actually does perform as we expected. But the interesting thing about it is that, uh, as the British government has now discovered, um, that this is a very, the, 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 the a technology that's going to come out of this is absolutely extraordinary. And they're getting very excited. Oh, I'm really excited. We're all really excited. I think the technology, it's at the forefront of all technology. It's a huge endorsement for UK manufacturing. Um, and it, it's it's inspirational for the young children well that's absolutely right i mean we've got a hell of a problem because basically we're going to brexit now our manufacturing is only about eight percent of gross domestic product whereas it should be 20 25 percent as uh, over the next uh, eight years or so we're going to lose 20 percent of our engineers i mean this is a really serious mess and bloodhound's getting very big now so to give you an idea in 2016 we um, we uh, engaged directly with 129,000 school kids so we are now the largest STEM program in Britain, which is tremendous. Very, very proud of that. And it is creating huge change. But of course, the best is yet to come because we've now signed up with Oracle. And the Oracle deal means that we can now take the data off the car. And when I say data, I mean huge amounts of data, 20 gigabytes of data every time the car runs. Uh, and there in South Africa, basically that gate data comes off the car. 
MTN network, then take it across on the big uh, um, on the big mast that they put up, so we can get it across the Kalahari Desert into the internet, and then uh, uh, then Oracle uh, basically distribute it then to uh, the 200 countries following Bloodhound. And it's very interesting. I mean, we've now got every country in the world, with the exception of two, North Korea and Vatican City. <laughs> It's absolute, congratulations. Thank I mean, you. it's absolutely fantastic achievement. Can I ask you a question? When you hit the thousand miles an hour, yeah. which it, it, it's not long away now, you know, are you going to hang up your boots or what, what's the next plans? Well, it's very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I, uh, you know, what we have is a fascinating, a very, very competent team of people who fight very, very hard to keep this thing going, you know, because it's, it's certainly not easy. And uh, we've got the capability of doing all sorts of things. So uh, you just wait and see. <laughs> Richard, thank you so much for your time today. And thank you for giving up your Sunday. <laughs>